then the last thing that we move on to right now is EVS. Yes. And EVS, as the name suggests, it is the environment science. And can we teach environment science only through the book? No, not at all. No. We have to take something them. which is there out in the environment, I need to experience mm -hmm. it. Right? When I'm teaching yes. body parts, the first theme that I do with children is myself. Yes. Then my family, then my home, my school. Because these are the things that the children connect with the most. So will I do body parts with the actual body parts or showing it in the picture? Own body parts. Own body parts. Right? Own body parts. Mm -hmm. Own body parts. Okay, so everybody touch your nose. Everybody touch your eyes. Everybody touch your ears. Okay, can you count and tell me how many ears do you have? Two. Two ears. Can you count and tell me how many nose do you have? One. We are doing that. <laughs> yeah, so those kind of things, you know. The thing is, you first, whatever uh, concept or theme that you are doing, do it with experience. It's do it with the actual thing, experiential learning rather than yes, moving yeah. directly to the book. Yes, sir. Same with next theme, which is family. I would suggest that don't move away, don't move to the book directly. Because the picture of the family that I have in the book is not your family. Yes, sir. Children don't connect with that. So how about we telling the children to get the family pictures from home? Okay, uh, Aswati ma'am, tell me how many uh, uh, how many uh, members are there in your family and who all are there in your family? Yeah, they, I have three members in my family, myself, my husband and my daughter. And like it's a joint family. So my parents, my mother and my father, my husband's parents, so his mother and his father. So it is three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people are there in your family and it is your husband, mm -hmm. your uh, daughter and you and plus your in-laws and yes. uh, a, a, a few more that you said. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to Priyanka ma'am. Priyanka ma'am? Yes ma'am. Priyanka ma'am, how many members are there in your family and who all are there in your family? Five members ma'am. Okay. Um, two children, husband and my mother. Okay. All right. Rekha, ma'am. Me? Me, Rekha? Yes. Me also five. Two sons, my mother and my husband and me. Okay. The other Rekha, ma'am. Ma'am, I have a husband, two children, daughter-in-law and my mother with me. Wow. So how many uh, in total? Uh, three plus three, six. Six. Okay. Uh, uh, Deepa, uh, ma'am, how many do you have in your family? Um, my and my sister and my father and my mother. There are four. Okay. Okay. So who has a bigger family? Uh, Deepa, ma'am's family or uh, Aswati, ma'am's family? Whose family is bigger? Aswati, ma'am. Aswati. Because how many members were there? In their, oh, how many members are there in her family? Seven. 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 And how many members are there in Deepa's family? Oh. Four. Right? So, the big family is Ashwati's ma'am and small mm. family is Deepa ma'am. So, do you see, I don't even need the book. Book, yes. To talk about the big family, small family, who all are there in the family. And everybody, did you see, has different family members. Mm. Like the other Rekha ma'am uh, had a daughter-in-law also. Yes. Right? And Ashwati ma'am had her in-laws living with her. So do you see so many relationships can be understood by looking at each other's family only and children feel very happy to talk about their family. So see, uh, our concept of family is covered. Uh, the children are sharing about each other's family so they get to know about each other's family also. So that's social skill. When I'm talking about my family and telling uh, who all are there in the family picture that I have brought, that's also speaking skills. They're thinking and talking about it family picture. So, so many skills covered together. And in EVS book, what I have done is you would have seen that in the EVS book, we have connected to it to the rhyme book also and in the art and craft book also. 
right so whatever rhymes connected to the family are given in your evs book that you can refer and do it from the rhyme book whatever craft can you can do can be there so cross curricular links are there so there is integration of uh, different subjects in there what i am doing is when i am counting the number of family members maths is coming when i am speaking and talking about my family members english is coming when i am singing rhyme again english is coming vocabulary is coming big family small family extended family all those mm-hmm. kind of and new family members and new relations who are cousins what are they so they are all connected so evs is something that we have integrated in our books like that and besides this you have a lot of flash cards for everything so you can use these flash cards for various things so supposing you doing animals and i have these flash cards and i do categories i tell children that okay from these flash cards pick up only the farm animals from these flash cards only pick up the wild animals or make categories put the farm animals together put the wild animals together put the water animals together right similarly for uh, transport take out the land transport the water transport so you can use all the material that you have in multiple ways how you do that is your responsibility as a teacher 